Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jesse Dembo with Duke Student Broadcasting alongside Zach Elder of The Chronicle. Zach, for the first time since 1998, Duke has started its season off 2-0. What were the keys to the game? How'd they do it? Well, it was a big 28-14 win over Memphis today in the Liberty Bowl. And Jesse, I'm going to tell you, it all started up front with the defense. Only gave up one touchdown on the defensive side of the ball today. Shut down the run and really frustrated Paxton Lynch, the freshman quarterback for this Memphis Tigers team. They could never really get the offense started, and it gave our offense plenty of time with the ball and plenty of chances to score. Speaking of offense, Zach, midway through the second quarter, starting quarterback Anthony Boone goes down with an injury. What more can you tell us about that? And moving forward, his replacement, Brandon Kinnett, how did he do today? Is he capable of running this offense? Well, unfortunately, Anthony Boone is out indefinitely with a broken collarbone. Uh, the Duke coaching staff and medical staff don't yet know what the timetable for his injury and his return will be, but it is serious, and it means that Brandon Kinnett will be the starter next week at Georgia Tech. Fortunately for the Blue Devils, Kinnett stepped up huge today. Threw for 198 yards and two touchdowns, mostly in the second half, and really was the catalyst for this Blue Devil offense in a game that was really up in the air until midway through the fourth quarter. So going into next week's game against Georgia Tech, who's the key player? Is it... Jalei Duncan running back? Is it wide receiver? Is it quarterback? Who's the key? Who needs to step up? What do you think is going to happen next week? Well, I think the biggest question mark is definitely Brandon Kinnett. I mean, he did really show he has game today, but he will be the key player next week. If he can step up and play like he did today in Memphis, then I think the Duke offense can really have a chance to move the ball. What we're also going to be looking at is whether or not Duke's run defense can shut down Georgia Tech's triple option which will be a much tougher run opponent for Memphis West today. All right, for the Chronicle, Zach Elder, I'm Jesse Dembo. Thanks for watching.